Thanks for joining us. Oakland police in Fayette County are under fire tonight after a photo started circulating on social media showing a man's bloody face while in custody. His 25 year old girlfriend recorded video of the incident showing officers entering his home. Tonight, Brittany Clemens has details, but we want to warn you, while some of the images may be hard to look at, the victim's attorney wants to share his story and why he's demanding action. According to an affidavit obtained by ABC 24, this all stemmed from a traffic stop. Brandon's attorney is calling the officer's actions animalistic and unjustified, adding Brandon is lucky to be alive today. Video footage taken by Brandon Calloway's girlfriend show at least two officers forcing their way into Brandon's home, swinging their batons. According to an affidavit, officers followed Calloway to his home after he refused to stop for police. According to Oakland police, they attempted to stop Calloway for running a stop sign and going 12 miles per hour over the speed limit. Calloway's attorney, Andre Wharton, says excessive force was used. Stop hitting him! Stop it! Stop The police entered the home forcibly uh, without announcing and immediately went to using force that was totally excessive. It's just, there's no other way to put it. It's just unreasonable. The affidavit says police did announce themselves, but Callaway ran upstairs, and that's when officers pulled out their batons and tasers. Wharton says Callaway sustained blunt force trauma to his head, needing stitches. He also says Callaway's vision is limited. We don't think there's going to be any proof that uh, Brandon was armed, that he ever displayed a weapon, a knife, a bat, a gun, or anything like that. According to the affidavit, police did not see a weapon, but it further reads that Callaway resisted arrest multiple times in his home by running upstairs and locking himself in a room. The video shows three officers trying to get Callaway on the ground using batons and a taser. One officer is seen standing on his head. At least three officers, again, uh, compared to Brandon's 5'5", five, five, 120 stature. So, you, you know, you, you raise the question rhetorically, was this called for? The affidavit says they eventually arrested Callaway and brought him into custody. He is charged with evading arrest, resisting arrest, running a stop sign, and speeding. Andre told reporters today the family is not looking to file a lawsuit, but instead want the police department to show accountability, drop the charges against Callaway, and punish the officers. I reached out to both the Oakland Police Department and the mayor for comment, but I haven't heard back yet. You will continue to push for more answers tomorrow. Reporting in Memphis, I'm Brittany Clemens.